Right, so we're with Lee, and we're with Sandra, and we've got us all on camera, and we're going on a bit of a bit of a hike, Lee, aren't we? Yeah. So we're going to take a walk over a place called Ash Farm, and this will be the last time I'll probably ever do this walk. And virtually all the land we're going to walk over now is going to be built on with houses. So we're going to um, record a public footpath for prosperity. Uh, and I'm guessing a two or three mile walk over the farmland, around some lanes, and we come and discover a new... What, what are they building, Sandra? Did you say 13 mile walk? Two or three mile walk, two so, or three. Definitely not 13 miles. Definitely not 13 miles. Um, and we're going to see a big... It's not a mountain that they're making, is it? Well, it's a mini mountain, isn't it? It wasn't there before. No. But... On a recent vlog, I was talking about what we call our viewers or watchers, and I came up with brothers and sisters. But well, somebody suggested we call everybody who's watching this now a gem. Are you, all you little gems, Lee, are gems. Our ground enhancement members. All them gems out there. Lee, can you see the gems? Watch it. Do you know, green eyed monsters, the gems. What do you think? And all monsters. Yeah, gems, all the gems. Okay. I'm lost now. So am I. It was a suggestion somebody put in. And also a shout out to where am I going now now? Is it Sharon? Dale. He sent me a message the other night with her husband David. Who were having IT problems working out how to find a subscribe button on YouTube on the television. Ah, uh, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> right, so we're nearly. Explain that. We're nearly at the start of where we are. So we're at the bottom of Grove Lane and Grave Lane. Grave Lane or Grove Lane? Clay, Clay Lane. And the reason it's called. Do you know why it's called Clay Lane, Sandra? Because yeah. there used to be a lot of clay around here. Still is. Well, there is still is, yeah. yeah. And here, this building, when I were a lad. There's a disused area and there's a pigsty there. And then this wall, Lee, when I were a boy, we used to climb on the wall, dangle our feet over the other end and look at the pigs on the other side. It's not horses. So down here there's some stables. Um, and some horses, and it can get very, very muddy down here. Okay, so there's stables. Oh, hello, horses. Say hello to you, Lee. So there's uh, horse stables here. Uh, so this first stretch we're on now has got a reprieve for the um, for the building, but as soon as we cross the next big style is where the destruction of the green belt starts. Um, so we've got some calves here, Lee. Do you remember last time we went to the River Bolling and you had a duck on your back and the horses started to chase us? Oh, hello little cows. All oh, these are young ones, aren't they? Hello beef. Hello burger, cheeseburger. Double cheeseburger, half a pounder. They look all snug and warm, them, don't they? Uh, right, the first duck pond's still here. Is that a bull? I don't know. We'll send Lee first. <laughs> Pardon me. Got any digestion? Right, so we've got. Cows in the field, all being well, they're not, they're not going to come and chase us. Away. Well, in case they chase us. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Right, I think Lee's going to understand why we needed Wellingtons on. Let's get over this next style. Right, don't look at me like that and don't chase us. Lee, don't look at it. He'll come, he'll, he'll come and get you. Quick, Sandra, run. Run, Sandra, run. He's going to come and get you. Thank you. Lee, can you see now why you need Wellingtons on? I could do 
You can do it in trainers. Okay, beef. All right. So over in the distance there is uh, again a couple of weeks ago I walked around some woods. Um, and then we're going to come down here now. We're all being well. There should be another stile. And then we're going to walk to an old pond. And then there should be another walk around the field. I can show you where the bottle dump was. And there should be a bridge, all being well, to get over the brook. It's a bit muddy, Sandra. Yeah, this bit and by the gate is the worst bit. Right. So approximately now, from where I am, the bit of greenery behind us at the moment has been safeguarded. It was by the previous administration of Trafford Council, which happened to be the Conservatives, the whole of this was earmarked. And they have reduced the numbers at the moment by a little bit. So all the political parties are all arguing to save the green belt, but neither of them care. Um, but all here now ahead of us, and we're about two miles from Manchester Airport, there are thousands, not hundreds, but thousands. Oh, what are you doing, Sandra? <laughs> You're doing a bit of belly dancing. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, everybody says I'm mean, Sandra, and laughing at you. Oh, I'm going to take you out for a Valentine meal, though, so answer Sandra. You've got no idea how lucky you are to have me. Sandra's got no idea how lucky she is to have me, has she, Lee? Oh. I wonder if Lee can remember that. Oh. Come on, Sandra. Are you managing? I hear a duck. I hear a duck. There's no horses here. Okay, so right, we're now we're now on a housing development. So this. Sure, is this? I thought it was the other side. No, of the it's here there. now. This is this the uh, sure here's this that. hedgerow, definitely. I'm not sure you're right on that. Anyway. There's like a circle a bit. They're keeping the other field over there is going for sure. Where, where, where those sheep are, that will be going. So you can walk now to the left and round. There's a brook where the tree line is, and about there there should be a bridge. So you could walk straight over the field, but over here. As a young boy, when we used to come exploring the fields, there should be a pond. You used to have some roach in this lake. Bloody hell, the mountains, a hill, look at it. See what I mean? Sorry, none of you are going to have a clue what we're pointing to, but we'll explain about this in a minute. Right, we're going to go and see whether this pond is here. And we'll have a record that it is here for when the developers want to come and dig it out and say there, was, there wasn't a pond on that land. There is a pond because I know where it is. Oh god, it's very mud mucky, Lee, isn't it? Uh, so, just a couple of minutes ago, we could hear ducks and they're in this pond. Oh, god, grief! Loads of ducks. So, there used to be some little roach in here, um, and we called this up here. We got it. Somebody said it was Taylor's Pier because we bought the lads from the estate. So, there was like a stretch I went out onto the middle of the pond and this one here and we used to come for picnics here um, I think Sandra's having a bit of a struggle you alright Sandra? give a wave what's happening Sandra? 
I was expecting to be walking on the mud rather than sinking down right into the mud. It's slowing me down. It's like walking in, in treacle, isn't it? It's like yeah. You coping okay, Lee? Yeah. You all right? Your belly seems okay. Yeah. Are you too tight or all right? All right. You're okay. Great. All right. Good. So yeah. So um, the pond is still here. Bed. And uh, who knows whether that'll be here in ten years' time or whether it'll all be filled in. And the wildlife destroyed. And as I say, there is a patch of private land that belongs to a golf course that hasn't been sold for development. And the building, it's like a massive Teletubby Hill, isn't it? It's building the right word. It's just like... Creating? It's just, last couple of years, it's just bringing in lorry after lorry of topsoil, just endlessly and it's now made a hill that wasn't a hill before so if you had a coal mine you'd be what you call a slag heap if it's old um stuff that's been done kind of a couple more ducks flying over there right and the other reason why i want to come into this corner of the field is because i'm going to let you into a bit of a secret what few people know about but one of our viewers did know about which was quite a surprise which i'll show you in a moment Okay, so this field here where the sheep are, and down here on the left in the corner, I'm not too sure how this happened, but a farmer had got some excavators out, and it ended up, there's a Victorian bottle dump here, and then what got exposed when I was younger was down the bottom corner, and you could come down with little spades and dig up um, Victorian bottles here. So there was a bottle dump. So if you were watching the video the other day when I gave the old bottles over to the hive, some of them originated from here. So this hill in front is a man-made hill. I hadn't realised this comes all this way back. I just thought it was only down that, that but Shea Lane end. Honestly, every day, lorry after lorry is coming through with tons of soil. I can't believe how big that is. See what I mean now? When I did the other one, it's like, oh my gosh. Massive. Okay. So we're heading now towards the tree line. And there should be, if my memory serves me correctly, the brook here with a bridge. There's something going on on this bridge. I'm not too sure what. Uh, and we're all... You're the muddiest of us all, Sandra. Lee's the unmuddiest. So I know I keep referring on vlogs about exploring. So again, as a boy, um, so we lived on the estate up here. And then I just used to come out and just walk the fields, find, find places to go to. Uh, and people live on the well green and especially newish people that have moved on to the estate they won't even know there's a public footpath here or a bridge i'm not so sure whether the bridge is closed game up for a bit of brook hopping sandra it depends the bridge well, there's no notice oh, saying footpath closed so what's going on we don't know we might have to get down to the brook the brook looks like it's pretty pretty st steep at the moment i think there's some boarding missing on the bridge we'll have a look i think the bridge has been closed because there's a hole how did you get over lee <laughs> all right go on lee we, we'll, we'll we'll make it over All the tree all come crashing down. Oh, holy, oh, you might have to squeeze through. Go on, Sandra. <laughs> now, the problem, Lee, you put your leg up, but who's going to touch all that mud there? Oh, hang on a minute, Sandra's. Last clip recorded the wrong way, upside down. Uh, will Sandra get over safely, Lee? You're laughing at Sandra, aren't you? 
Right, looking over the stile. So do you know what this is for, Lee? What? What do you think that's for? Is a dog? Way, well done. So if you bring your dog over for a walk and you can't get over here, lift that up and let your dog get underneath there. You like that, don't you, Lee? The old one, yeah, yeah. So this style looks quite fairly newish, doesn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm just going to elevate myself up here now. And as far as the eye can see is green 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 you can probably hear manchester airport in the distance as a plane taking off there all this all of it and more in years to come is going to be houses all of that so this right away this public footpath as i say i did it over well more than 55 years plus so this is technically speaking a right away um, and just to prove that there is a public footpath here, there you go. And so this may, this video may be needed in the future to prove that there used to be a right of way here. Uh, so there's a few. That tree was here when I was little. So these won't have TPOs on. But if you look on the Woodland Trust, anything over three and a half metres girth will be a veteran tree and should be protected, I think that, that would be. Well, unless somebody actually comes here and records these trees and, put, and records them, the developers will just come here and that'll just be chopped down. Unless somebody actually physically has that and you can get what's called a TPO on it. That's, all, that's older than me, that. I've picnic, picnicked under there. It's probably about two or three hundred years old. Well, I'm not that old, Sandra. I'm only 47. Well, a lot older than you. Hey? Well, that's what I say was there when I was a boy. It would have been, yeah. Right? points, Sandra. So, yeah, so the... Um, I'm sure hedgerows are down the bottom. Your hawthorn. This one's mostly hawthorn. Um, so, so we're just coming down here. You won't see on the, on the camera, but we've seen birds in and out of the hedgerow here. Obviously mature hedgerow. Again, all of it is going to get built on. And the brook we just went over there floods onto the fields, doesn't it? Yep. So we, they know they know this area floods. They know it floods. That's why it's not been built on before. And it's so it's no. And so basically, they're going to build on a on an area that's known to flood. So even so if they put, you can see how we've, we've been up to. So you can see my well is how deep the mud's been and people will be in their houses on that. <laughs> Crazy. So even if they put a culvert on. Anyway, I've done my bit, I've done a lot of campaigning to try and save the green belt. My my held head is held up high. But all here, all housing. And then we are going to come to a very historical area for those that know where I am or where we are I should say uh, directly ahead is actually more earmarked to be HS2 <laughs> yeah well, we'll, come, we'll come to that one we get to Davenport Green because you've got the um, yeah so bef HS2 could still happen or whatever but this is called the Timpley Wedge where we are now. And then coming up, we're gonna to come to an area called Davenport Green. And again, if you know the area, you come down the M56, Junction 6 on the M56, Four Seasons Roundabout. It's HS2 was proposed to come through Ashley and the main terminus before an underground link came in was gonna happen down here at Davenport Green. Wet area. There's, there's lots of things like rare crested newts and all sorts, all sorts there at the moment. So. So that's why I wanted to record that pond there. There's a lot of crows in the tree there, isn't there? 
And somewhere in the old photographs that I have not got, got but Cliff's got photographs of me photographing all the trees down here from many years ago. Rookery. Right. Oh no, mud's just gone down my leg. Ew. Right, so again as a young boy doing all our, all our exploring. I don't know whether we can get through here or not. There's another bit of a pond over here. And, and something very, very weird happened. I'm going to try and cut through here. So we used to come playing here. And there was like an old orchard. And it was creepy. It was scary. Uh, you could feel a... You could feel like a present presence of some sort here. And we, we, and, and it, we, we nicknamed it the Haunted Place. So I was just saying to Lee, as a, as a boy, I did these like maps of the farm. And on the map, you've got TP, Taylor Pier, and you've got here, called the Haunted Place. And many years later, it turned out there was, um, I can't remember the full history of it, it was all to do with Davenport Green. But an archaeological dig took place here. Uh, and it was a... A very old site. There used to be like a pond here somewhere. There's some stuff here. Hang on a minute. Uh, it's just overgrown now. A lot of brambles. Oh it's, oh, it's sort of still here. Not much water in it. Well, this used to be. You got, sorry. Yeah, this is all part of this pond here where the bulrushes are. So my mum, sorry, when we were very, very little, we could walk across these fields to go to Woodhouse Park, which is where my mum used to have a flat before they moved to where we are now in the Well Green. But my mum had a number of bulrushes in the kitchen, in like a vase. Why not? We used to collect bulrushes when I was little. Why? For fun. Lee, did you ever collect bulrushes? No. Do you want a bulrush, Sandra? What now? Oh, you can come with... yeah, so I'm going, I'm going to be careful because it's very very muddy here and it's obviously sheep or cows are crossing here. I wouldn't, uh, fall, I wouldn't fall in for it though, there's more around there as well. Yeah, the haunted place. Somewhere there, there, there may be a little map might, might appear under that I created 55 years ago <laughs> of the farm and where to come, where to come for walks and picnics and things. remnants of the pond so it was a, uh, a, a, a moat that was it so the bottom of um, the bottom of here and in a minute there's the old moat in fact I might even try and find it on Google Maps well done Sandra you can have that there's a memento of the last time we'll ever walk this it'll, walk it'll go fluffy though they didn't know when they were picked, they didn't come out. Even when they were dried off, my mum had them for years. She had about five or six in the bars. But they didn't have any fluff on it, they were sealed. Some hey, you're looking very worried. Are you, are you a bit worried? Definitely. Looks like a firework, doesn't it? Slide to the bottom of the source paper and send it up. <laughs> right, okay, we're gonna cross over here. And so this area now is where the Simply Wedge Green Belt Destruction meets the HS2 Green Belt Destruction. I'll be dead and gone when this is all done. Um, it's shocking, absolute shocking um, what's going to go on. Oh, hang on a minute, there's a notice here. Is it, is it HS2 or is it Places for Everyone? Otherwise known as the... Traffic Council Road over oh, footpath, temporary footpath closure. It's this footpath closing 25th of January. No person shall cross or permit any vehicle to proceed from the Bog Bridge footpath. Temporary pro to pro to pedestrians of a maximum of 21 days. What's 21 days from the 25th of January? Oh, yeah, Sarah Todd. So we're not allowed to walk down there, oh, yeah. but there wasn't one on the other end, was there? there wasn't. 
No. Okay. It's okay with the last time. I didn't know there was another path over that way. You can cross over, you can go over to um well that's park and then you've got this Brooks's drive. In fact, do you remember when we were came wild camping on Hale Barnes Meadow? And we came down Brooks' Drive and down the lane, didn't we? Do, do you remember that? I can't remember. Yeah. Catkins of Hazel, I think. That is an old tree. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've run out of time now. If I live round here now and I had the time, honest to God, you need to have a somebody with with some mapping. They won't, they, they, they won't have teepee, no, nobody will even know the trees are here. No. They won't even know the trees are here. They won't even know that's there. Go and stand, go and stand underneath it, just give you some idea of the width, the girth of the trunk, because the camera won't show, show the width of that. It's huge. How can you miss it, Sandra? All right, we should come to another gate down here, and then we should be on to a bottom of a private road. It's a bit of a cul-de-sac, and we're going to go to some very posh houses down here, and then they're coming up very shortly. So you can hear the steady rumble of Manchester Airport in the background and if you listen carefully you've got the bird song in lockdown it was all you could hear was the bird song yeah no airplanes you need to stay, yeah Nothing. so you've got the rumble of the airport and the rumble of the m56 as well isn't it yeah it's only when it's gone you realize how noisy it is That's a robin, that isn't it? Where is it? If the air was clean, these will be covered in black spots. It's a kind of fungus, but it only grows when the air is clean. And the air's not clean anymore, so there's hardly any black fungus anymore. Oh, yeah, like that. That has got one. But there's very little of it. There used to be loads. Even 20 years ago, there used to be more. <laughs> 